fall dead as a teen-sitter boss dived into river in Kogi. An 18-seater boss has dived into the Black River, a tributary to River Niger in Cotton Cafe, Kogi State, killing four of its occupants. The accident occurred around 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday. The driver was said to have lost control of the vehicle after slipping off. The state commandant of Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Suleiman Mafara, who disclosed this to correspondents in Lokoja, Kogi capital, said after receiving a distress call, his men in conjunction with the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, and volunteer divers headed to the scene. He said four corpses have already been recovered and 13 others were rescued alive, Why one person could not be accounted for. He added that his men and other security personnel were working to recover the only person yet to be accounted for. He said that the recovered corpses have been deposited at a mortuary in Lokoja. He sounded a note of warning to drivers and commuters to adhere strictly to the road safety guidelines so as to avoid preventable road mishaps on the highways. Wow, my viewers, this is this is seriously not acceptable. Seriously not acceptable. But then I will begin my blame with the drivers. Yes. Most especially Nigerian drivers. We our Nigerian drivers are very reckless drivers. They are very reckless and rough. They don't pay attention or at all heed to instructions. Why won't they have accidents? They will they will, they, they will even have more than what has just happened. Because why? Because they are stubborn people who, who don't like listening or paying or, or, or listening or, 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 or accepting to instructions. I'm telling you, Nigerian drivers are very rough to the extent that they don't even listen to road safeties. Have you seen where road safeties try to stop a Nigerian driver to check or or try to know what and what is in his vehicle? Before you know it, this Nigerian driver will put his car in J5 and move speedily, almost, almost, almost to the to the to the to the to, or, or, almost to hitting the uh, the, the, the the FRS. See personnel. So they are very rough, more than rough, more than rough. I think um, the federal government should begin their check-ins, their check-ins on uh, on the Nigerian drivers now. Yes, and not all of them are qualified drivers. Not all of them are qualified drivers at all. They are not qualified. They are not at all. Some of them, because they have gone to driving school, um, uh, that is all. So they feel that they are very okay to drive without knowing driving code. Can you imagine? Without knowing a driving code. Why some persons... They they, 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 they they don't like obeying to road safety instructions. They always want to be on the motion. Go to Ekeja now. Go to Ekeja and see things for yourself. And you will marvel. Go and see how people, they, these uh, Nigerian drivers are driving crazily. They will, they, will, they will see a, a, a light pointer. They will see the light, uh, the, instru the instructional light. Instead of them to pay attention to that light 
to the light instruction. Stop when you are being instructed to stop. Move when you are being instructed to move. They will disregard it and move when they are not instructed to move. The big traffic lights, like who is at the bus stop. So when would they have accidents? So that is why I am beginning my blames with them. Then the next blame goes to the government. In fact, the government shares 70% blame. And that is why that is the only area that I am going to give kudos to President Momo Buhari's administration, to be frankly speaking. Yes, Buhari didn't do anything in Nigeria, but he did roads. He did roads. And I will give him a kudos on that. Yes, I will give me kudos on that. You see, road, the, the road is one thing, one of the things that, that, that are very important to, to man, at least for movement. I once came up with one opinion that was after the, the COVID-19, um, um, uh, uh, after the lifting of the COVID-19 by, by, by Nigerian government. I said, fine, Wari has called off the, 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 the strike. But then, before we start embarking on the road, let us first of all, first of all, at least, adopt this idea of putting the road in order without waiting for the federal government. Because if you wait for the federal government, you will, you will just be lost. You get lost. I'm telling you. So I brought up this idea. I said, the roads are weak. The roads are weak. So what you need to do is, if it is to 200 naira, at least as a driver, as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a regular taxi driver, you people should come up with a checking point. Okay? At the road. Pay to 200 naira to this checkpoint. At least the 200 now in one month, I know can be able to get one or two materials to cover up some potholes. <laughs> My dear, things are much. Things are much. All right, let me hear from you to know what you have to say on this very matter. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.